Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Paintivity, and today we are playing Demetrios at the Big Cynical Adventure. I don't know exactly what makes it cynical, um, but what I did instead was I skipped the cutscene on purpose. I want you guys to be able to check it out for yourself. Uh, but the overall backstory is you are Bjorn here on the left, and you got drunk, went home. Someone called you to warn you about what was coming up, and you got knocked out. So you're trying to figure out what exactly happened and people you know right now Tom is like why are you still at home so uh, a lot of reading sort of and it's a point and click adventure so uh, let's get in and let's play Tom I had some trouble don't tell me you forgot we were fishing today come here at once sorry I don't think I'll come I have important matters to attend to so at least his head is in the right place <laughs> Knowing you, I guess you won't change your mind. Alright, come for dinner this evening and you can tell me more then. Alright, I'll do my best. See ya. So our goal is to get through the first chapter at least today. Ow, my head hurts. What happened already? I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. Before reporting it to the police, I better check to see if anything's missing. Yeah, probably a good idea. Of course, I mean, you should probably report it to the police anyway. So here we are, chapter one. Parish Maris. It's kind of awesome. So, like I said, point and click game. Um, I did play a little bit of this. Oh, there's a cookie here. Weird. I can't remember the last time I bought cookies. Oh, well. So, cookies. I wonder what I could do with that. Um, it's a special item on each screen. There's at least three on each screen. And use basically use them for hints. So, if you're stuck. So we're just gonna, you know, look around. What the? Hey, it wasn't like this yesterday. The burglar must have stepped on it. Seriously? What kind of thief trips over trash bags? <sighs> yeah, those stupid thieves. Jeez. What's this? Looks like a can of food. I should grab it. Ugh, it's high. So high. Ugh, not high enough though. Ew. Cat cassoulet. Sausage flavor. <laughs> With twice more sausages and contains two sausages. <laughs> best before October 1998. Well, they say it's best to eat it before that date. Not required. Good enough for me. Gross. Since we're on food mode. Oh, I lost that packet of crisps last month. Ew. Still good though. Ew. Um, let's see. What is this? Alright, so we have our can of food. And up here we've got our menu and, find, you know, objective is to find the clues. Let's see. There's a locked door here. Ah, yes, I remember now. That's the only door with a lock, so I keep some cash in there. Now the question is, where's the key? That's a good point. Okay, he's got a lot of crap in here. Um. Let's see. I've gathered all kinds of doodahs in these bags. I don't want to get rid of them, but at the same time, I have no intention of ever touching them again. Fair. My flashlight. I had it in hand when I was knocked out. It's called a crappy flashlight. There's only one problem. The batteries are dead. I need replacements. Okay. Aye, that's me, Bjorn the Pirate. R. <laughs> so he's got a lot of relics and stuff. Um, he made an advertisement to promote his store, so... He, want, he brought it to his house to make the pictures look more authentic. Got it. Now that I think about it, I could have taken the picture at my store instead of bringing all this here. Oh well. He seems very nonchalant about it. I got this statue a few months ago. Don't know what exactly the bird's supposed to represent, but it looked cool. Hey, wait a minute. There's a tablet on it earlier. I remember it clearly because it uh, fell when I moved the statue last week. But, I know I put it back. It was a tablet shaped like a lightning bolt. It's gone and I don't see it anywhere else in here. So, the thief must have taken it, but why? I'd better tell the police about this. Good to know. Where are these? Really nice place. I Plates? I got them for 50 magical points at my supermarket. Okay. Anyone home? Mousy? Oh no, no answer. Maybe it died of hunger or something. So the cool thing about these games, I mean, it is kind of a more relaxed game, um, you know, point and click for sure. 
um, <laughs> Barbie has big bo boobs, cooking for idiots, these books are hysterical. Uh, but, you know, the game takes a little while, but it, again, it doesn't. At first I thought it was going to be like an I Spy game, and um, it wasn't. Yes, the whole drawer is filled with earplugs. Yeah, okay. So there's some hidden jokes in here as well. Hopefully, you know, you'll get it. I don't travel with my favorite teddy anymore. I won't take the risk of damaging it. Okay, so we have to find a key, and we also have to find batteries. Weapons. A halberd and a stick? Some kind of weapons, I believe. They came from my antique store. I can't even remember why I brought them here. Fair enough. What else can I click on? Manuals. Childhood workbooks. Boring stuff. Got it. Story of a little boy expelled from his home. Okay. Comics. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's see. The coffin. We haven't clicked on that yet. Rather handy if I have a heart attack. They can just put me inside. Awesome. Newspaper. Business articles. Okay. Um... The Mano Lisa. Yep, this is a man's reconstruction of Mona. And it was made by Leonardo da Vinci, not Leonardo. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I'm not really finding a whole lot in here. I mean, these are weapons, but maybe it's phone. Okay. And so now we can't. We have to find batteries, and he can't find his phone or the tablet. So our list is stacking up. Um, okay, I don't think we're going to find much more here. So, back to the living room. Plant looks like a zombie. Maybe I should water it more often? Oops. I should really stop touching it now. <laughs> I lost the remote, so it's stuck on the cooking fan channel. Only cooking programs. I like them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't sit around and watch cooking shows, and half the time I can't even, like, you know, get the recipe. So, whatever. I can see why he's upset. Borrowed this DVD from Tom, Snow White and the Three Little Pigs. I love cartoon or mo movies. It reminds me of my childhood. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's that X rating on the back? Probably a mistake. Yeah, okay. Okay, there's no lock, and the drawer's stuck. Only magazines. Hundreds of TV channel listings. I wonder if we can pry this door open. Nope. Okay. It also reads VHS. How luxurious. Okay. Game console. Next gen console, but yet he feels cheated. Um, we've got shoes. What else? What else do we really need here? Okay. The radiator <laughs> works like a frying pan and he cooked eggs on it. Gross. Uh, okay. We're getting there. It's the sad part. It takes a little while because you have to click on everything. What? My cousins are religious. They offered me this. They said it's the angel of beauty and purity. I use it to scare away insects. Fair enough. Totally empty. Okay. Wow. Interesting. I'm not even sure if I want to. Handcuffs? I don't need them for now. Okay. Printer paper. Eiffel Tower. Uh, <laughs> okay, so vibrating Eiffel Tower, but they have batteries. So we scored batteries for the flashlight. <laughs> Not what I would have expected, but it is what it is. Even if I don't like Christmas that much, my parents never gave me any presents. They said it was too commercial and Santa doesn't exist. How could they lie to me like that? Turd. Uh, something's wrong. It's empty. I've been robbed. Cash, credit card, all gone. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. The thief must have taken it. At least he left my ID card. What a gentleman. Bjorn Thonin. Born 82. With a really bad signature. <laughs> okay. Ooh, so we still need a key. Alright. Jeez. I think I found a cookie. Nice. Cookies! <laughs> Uh, so we need a key. Urgent box. Oh, yes. I put some urgent things to do inside a few years ago. Totally forgot about it. Oops. Uh, okay, there was a cookie in the umbrellas. I didn't even see it. So, cool. Right on. I think it's better to leave that mystery alone. Okay. Fair enough. Anything else? Anything else? 
I don't know. Maybe I should have watered him. So he's really bad at taking care of plants, which is fair because so is the rest of the population. Clockworks, like clockwork or not. Fair enough. Okay, can we open this? This one's empty. Yuck, cockroaches everywhere. Ugh, cleaning stuff. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Actually, the armchair is awful because it swallows you when you sit in it. Just saying. All right, let's go outside. Hello, Bjorn, says Sandra. Looks like a nice neighborly lady. Uh, did you hear all that racket last night? What racket? It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, not really. I'm a heavy sleeper, you know. Can you tell me anything more about what happened? Well, it was two men judging from their voices and... And one had a deep voice with a foreign accent, so... Who knows? I mean, it does say resort in Paris. What about the other voice? Hmm, let me think. It was rather high-pitched and that's pretty much all I can remember. Sandra, what do you do for a living? Watermelon seller or maybe a barbecue cleaner? Bjorn, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. That's awesome. So, my thought at this point is that before he got knocked out, maybe he was one of the people arguing that woke her up. Let's see, what were they talking about? Uh, I did hear them, but I couldn't really understand. They were probably speaking a different language. Chinese or Arabic, maybe? Or maybe she was just too far away from them? You know, what's more likely here? Okay, well then. Oh, before I forget, while you're here, can you lend me that book you told me about? Book? Uh, the cookbook. Right, yes. As soon as I get it, I'll bring it to you. Alright, see you later. So, what is that? Elevator jammed. Please panic and scream loudly. Great. Now I know what to do next time. Fair enough. I feel like we're kind of... Uh, and my radio broadcast has never failed me. So, I feel like in a way... This could be a lot of back and forth. So, that's okay. What's the golf club doing here? Uh, poor guy thinking he took his umbrella and trying to cover his head with this when it starts raining. Serves him right, poor rich guy. Where's the rich guy? So let's try and go find this cookbook she wants. Let's see, eat more meat, useless book. Nope, no cookbook here unless useless book has some good recipes. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get that book real quick. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know where that would be, to be honest. So I'm hoping to find this cookbook. Make no promises. Does this, yeah, 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 I know that. Huh, well does he not have a kitchen or something here, somewhere, anywhere? Technically? Hmm. Painting is amazing. Okay, so there's a little painting there, and he owns it. There's gotta be a book in there. Like a key or something, but I can't see a thing. Oh, let's see if we can combine the flashlight. Cool, they fit. Really? I get it. You need a light, man. There you go. Broken computer, sewing supplies, a pet petter. Awesome. Here's a flash. Here's a flashlight. I needed a... Let's just put that back. Ah, I found something interesting. Small key. What is the key open? Why are you asking me, man? Let's see if we can get this cupboard open. So let's try that. Finally, money. Yay, money. Five, five seventy-five. I thought I had more left. And without my credit card. Story of my life right there. Just saying. Where would he have kept the books? Still won't open. Painting's really something. There's several interpretations for the pattern, though. According to ancient alien theorists, this represents a UFO destroying the Earth on Judgment Day. But some others say the truth is out there. Awesome. And Piero della something, Francesca. It can mean Stone of France, or maybe French fries. I'm right there with you, man. I can't speak French either. 
Um, so yeah. Why can you just He's so annoyed with the trash, he's just gonna leave it there. Alright, I don't know what else to do. So we're gonna just kinda go look at stuff. The waste basket's been emptied. Ew, use chewing gum, we don't need that, so let's move forward, shall we? Oh, okay. We definitely have to go to the police. Go inside. Uh, prepare your identity card. Fair enough, this guy's sweating bullets. Like, I don't know, he looks like he's terrified. I'd like to file a complaint for burglary aggression? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? You don't even ask my name first? There's two options here. If you have an ID, your name is written on it. And if you don't, any answer you'd give wouldn't be acceptable anyway. Um, here you go. Ah, finally. I was pretty sure I pulled the card out first, but whatever. Speak for yourself. Well, let's see. Mr. Bjorn Thonin, say, your name doesn't sound very French. Listen, I was born in Paris. I'm French. End of the line. Whoa, don't lose your temper. It was just a joke. But you're right, these days I don't feel so well, and I'm so thirsty in here, I wish we had an ice cream machine. Anyway, let's not get off track. He's gonna go grab a form, and then we can tell him what happened. Which, yeah, it takes forever. Alright, so here I am. <clears throat> so let's see, the sign in the back says, Stealing is bad, murder is badder. So now I'll wait for the ink to dry, and then put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. Wait. I don't get it. I explained I've been robbed and knocked unconscious, and that's all you're gonna do? My good man, we receive dozens of complaints about attacks like these every day. And anyone with any sense would understand we, we only follow up on the most important ones. So, we might find them. With a whole barrel of luck, you mean? Sorry, I can't do, I can't do more for you. Alright, so we're gonna report the tablet. And now I can't find it. Or maybe you just move the tablet someplace? Really? Man, this guy's just not backing off. No, yeah, I don't take you seriously. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. But don't you understand? This is no ordinary burglary. Yeah, if you say so. Can I give him money? <laughs> that's for you. So does this help? Is that a bribe? That's a big word. Let's just say it's my way of showing my appreciation. No, I'm an honest policeman. Really? Stop it or- Alright, alright, I'm just kidding. Okay, so he's a hot mess. I want- What an ugly cup. So now I get to mess with just everything. I swear I've seen that character somewhere else. Can't pinpoint where or when though. Maybe I'll remember it. What does that say? A list? Carrots, potatoes, milk, ham, cow tongue, and low fat soup. Did they mistake the dartboard for a bulletin board? Gross. What is this stuff? I made a bet a while ago. Yes. <laughs> Sir? Mister, that photocopier is strictly reserved for police staff. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sit on it. You're going to break it. Are you listening? What's a horrible thing you copied? Uh, you copied your butt? I made a bet with someone. I had to. Hands over your head now. I'm sorry, I'll pay for the photocopies I made. Oh my god. You crapped on it? <laughs> um, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I thought I'd just fart, but... But when I let go, suddenly... You're going to jail. But first, you clean up that crap. Please, no, I can't. It's all liquid and it reeks. <laughs> How disgusting. So, we ended up in jail. So... But he at least got one game over. I didn't know that was going to happen, but that's alright. Um, let's see, let's, can we talk to this guy? Hello? Hey, I'm talking to you. Eugene has some hearing problems. You mean he can't hear anything I say? Precisely. Awesome. If you've got any questions, ask me. Great. The window's here. That could prove useful in an emergency. Great. Okay, so... I am still looking for the cookies though, if they are everywhere here, which some are easier to find than others, and that's okay, but I think we're just going to leave for now. I do want to get through chapter one. I think I found a cookie. The poor little cookie. 
It almost fell in the sewer. I saved you, kiddo. Nice. And we still haven't used any either, so... Yay. Bag of chips. The bag isn't totally empty. People disgust me, leaving a perfectly good pack on the floor and with chips inside. Ew. Yeah, you deserve to get sick after that. Blech. Newspaper doesn't look very... Wait, that picture. That's the same bird statue. Says an antique dealer was killed last week for unknown reasons. This looks awfully similar to what happened to me last night. Which means maybe I'm a little bit lucky after all. Better keep it. Better keep this article. <coughs> Didn't even get to read it. Turd. French production. It all looks interesting. So. Alright. Let's go inside. The door has been forced open. Great. The burglars must have visited my store too. What were they looking for? Let's see if anything's missing. So I think you guys get the point here. I am reading a little fast. Sorry. But it is a lot of dialogue. Oh, let's see. There's a piano in the way. Um, we don't accept rubber checks anymore. I don't know. Some of the items in my store come from museums. Sometimes they get rid of cool stuff they decide it's probably fake. Box can't be open. Open. I believe it was made like that from the beginning. Let's see. Nope. The register's empty. Okay, it's been empty for ages. It has nothing to do with this. Plastic flowers. They're plastic or insanely hardy. What is that? The phone. Totally forgot I left it here yesterday. Alright, so found one thing. No messages. Okay. So it's special. I don't know why we have a can of food with us. Well, that's weird. Not completely sure considering how much rubbish I have here, but nothing seems to be missing from my store. So why was the door forced open? Alright, so what do we do now? Let's see. Click to reveal all the hot spots. So let's try and go back. Let's see what happens when we use one of the cookies. Go inside. Police officer doormat. Not really sure what's going to be the best here. <laughs> Here's your proof. Read this article. Don't you see the correlation to my story? Not really. Basically, tell them the same thing. Um. I'm literally dying of thirst. Ice cream, okay. Okay, come on. Go away. Takes you guys forever to stop talking. I believe I saw some ice cream right here. Whoa. There was a lot more to this than I realized. Either no one's home, they're deaf, or they don't care. Alright. Okay, really bad garbage. Alright, let's just talk to you. Yes, we want ice cream. Specials. Kiwi. Awesome. Wow, that was a lot. Five euros for that. Just saying. Oh, actually, we have to go back there. Because I found a cookie. Sweet! Wonder if there's another one right here. Nice. Three cookies. Found them. For some reason, I don't know why I can find those sometimes. Alright, let us talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Ice cream. Wow, he snatched it from my hand. A vanilla ice cream. Vanilla? You said vanilla? Uh, yeah. I hate vanilla. 
You didn't have to throw it away. How was I supposed to know? You almost poisoned me and now you want me to help you? Uh, yeah. Ugh. Precisely. So he wants coconut ice cream this time. And we don't have enough money. Alright, so. Okay. Well then. I think, given how long we've been running through this, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, it does save, so we can pick it up right where we left off. Super awesome. So far, I really kind of think maybe he was kind of in on the kidnapping, perhaps. Like, even though some stuff got taken from him, like, he was knocked out. He had no idea what was going on. So, is it not possible that maybe there was a little bit more to this? Um, definitely need to find a key. He's broke. He's having a really hard time, so I'm sure there's something I'm missing, but um, they kind of give you a lot to do all at once, so we'll figure that out next time. I was hoping to get through chapter one, but it actually is a lot longer than I thought. So I'm really this here, and if you guys like it, let me know, and I will continue. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I will see you guys next time, and uh, have a great day. Bye! And today I've got Geriatric with me here, and we're gonna do the June Loot Crate, uh, or actually Loot Gaming box. And uh, I'm gonna let him do the honors of opening this one. It's ginormous compared to uh, the one behind me here, and we'll see what's in it. Trust me, just any 